Um, pure gold, not just a precious metal that people risk their lives for, but what you get when an ensemble cast blends perfectly together to bring to the big screen a film appropriately entitled Gold. Gold, inspired by actual events, is the epic tale of one man's pursuit of the American dream and everything he'll do to keep it from falling apart. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> stars as Kenny Wells, uh, a man raised in the mining business and desperate for a lucky break. He teams up with a mythic geologist, played by Edgar Ramirez, and sets off on an amazing journey to find gold in the uncharted jungle of Indonesia. When they make the largest gold find in history, Kenny realizes his dream was only the beginning of the adventure, battling corrupt politicians, <laughs> Wall Street tycoons, and law enforcement, all of whom want to take it from him. In addition to Matthew and Edgar, this amazing cast includes Bryce Dallas Howard, Stacy Keach, Corey Stoll, Craig T. Nelson, and Toby Kebbell, among others. Cabell, Cabell. Take a look at their work in gold. Accepting the Hollywood Ensemble Award on behalf of gold is Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kay. <laughs> I can't even let that slip out anymore, can I? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. There's always three of them. How's everybody doing tonight? Good deal. Um, well-written characters, they give us, the actor, a space to inhabit. They give us a place to own. A place where we as actors don't really have to trespass on other actors' property until we do. And that's when we have conflict, which creates good drama. In Gold, we had the opportunity to create place in this story. All right, the journey takes Kenny Wells to multiple worlds. He's in the dusty bars of Reno, Nevada. He heads over to the jungles of Indonesia and then all the way back to the top floor in Wall Street. And while the look is so very important to a sense of place, more important is the who. Are the people in each place that we meet? From fiercely loyal friends and underdogs, when we meet Kenny working out of a bar, to expatriates and pirates in the Far East, to slick and opportunistic money men and women on Wall Street, I must say all of these are gold diggers of a different kind, we were fortunate to be able to get brilliant actors who made every place and relationship seem absolutely real. So I'm going to speak on some of their behalfs. Kay, played by Bryce Dallas Howard, not an easy role, dear. Not an easy role. She boiled this down for her very early to a very simple thing. It was a love story for her. You've always said that between Kay and Kenny. Now, her Kay was someone who could love her man unconditionally, almost without judgment, and still be powerfully feminine, empowered, yet never the victim. You see, like 15 years ago in this story, Kenny said to Kay, he said, he said, look, hold my hand, we're going to jump off this cliff. Don't let go. Before we hit the ground, we're going to learn to fly. And 15 years later, they have not learned how to fly, <laughs> but they haven't hit the ground yet. Thanks for holding hands on that one. Um, Mike Acosta, played by Edgar Ramirez. He was my brother in crime in this. Um, these are two down on their luck underdogs, yet from very different places. And they were bound by a silent secret that was sealed with a handshake. Uh, two men on a wing and a prayer by any means necessary, doing whatever it takes to stick it to the man and fulfill the promise that they made to each other. So I want to thank you, Edver, and Edgar, for keeping our secret, which, as we said, hey, if you keep a real secret, those two people can still be in a 10-foot dinghy in the middle of the Pacific Ocean 20 years after you've kept that secret, and if one person brings it up, the other one's gonna say, I don't know what the f you're talking about. That's really keeping a secret. Another, a great actor, a narrator, and a storyteller who had to embody decades of history between us in just a few scenes, Mr. Stacy Keach. Uh, 
Joshua Harto. I want to thank him for riding shotgun in my jock strap. You understand what that means when you see the film. Craig T. Nelson, who really had to believably establish what a prospector spirit is about, had to create a sense of loyalty and family for Kenny Wells for the rest of the story. Uh, Bruce Gareen Wood, who was the only one wearing clothes in the scenes that we had together. Uh, Toby Kebble, who kept his poker face the entire time that he was across the table from me. Macon Blair, uh, an actor who knows that honest behavior is a lot funnier than shtick. And one of the funniest men in America, week in and week out, on Veep, Ted Simons. Corey Stoll, an actor who can inhabit any role there is, I want to thank him for improvising the offering Kenny a drink in a scene that has actually become one of my favorite scenes in the film. Bill Camp, who besides getting kicked out of at least three good schools, is also in Midnight Special Loving, as well as Gold, this year, and is basically just an asset to any film and set experience that you're going to have. Also, Frank Wood, Adam Lefebvre, and we want to thank all of you for playing your part your instrument in service of the song of this story so we could go make some good music called Gold. Thank you.